Indy Mogul. The critics sure do love Jeremy Renner in this movie, just like they always loved Matt Damon. Looks like Affleck is trading one problem for another. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Town. She's the one person that can give us defense. She didn't say anything. Get that in your head! This is the not screwing around crew. So find me something that looks like a print, because this not screwing around thing is about to go both ways. After his high-profile romance with J.Lo blew up in his face and destroyed his career, Ben Affleck was left in the ruins to rebuild. And rebuild he did! First with a critically lauded supporting role of George Reeves in Hollywoodland, and then behind the camera as director with the also critically lauded Gone Baby Gone. While audiences weren't quite as impressed as the critics, Affleck undoubtedly generated a spark which he now hopes to coax into a flame with the town. This movie is packed with Oscar nominees and winners, along with Gossip Girl's Blake Lively, who Warner Brothers is grooming to be their next big movie star, with this role and the female lead in Green Lantern. As for Affleck, he's working in his comfort zone, telling another Boston tale. And he's got a neat hook this time, pointing out that this part of Boston is the bank robbery capital of the world. Not only does this allow for a lot of action sequences, but for a nifty cat and mouse game between Affleck, who also stars in addition to directing, and Mad Men's John Hamm. Will critics bite? Will audiences bite? The initial reviews are excellent. Again, they love Renner, but there's plenty of competition this fall at the box office, and Affleck needs those numbers to solidify his comeback. So, will he rise like the phoenix from the ashes? It's up to you. So, the town. It got really good reviews. Did it live up to the hype? Yes. Yeah, I think it did. It was, uh, it was... It was, it was good, you know, um, very emotional. Well, I like the grittiness of it. I love a good heist film. I love a bank rank robbery film. And, like, I think that, like, Matt Damon is a fantastic actor to look at. And, like, the guys... Oh, ben the crew... Affleck. Oh, sorry, what did I say? Matt Damon? <laughs> yes. It's Ben Affleck. I like Ben Affleck. It's the best movie he's been in. Really? Wow. What do you think of Ben Affleck? Do you like him better as an actor, a director, or doing both? Well, actually, when they say he directed the film, I was kind of surprised at that. Uh, you really find a lot of actors who direct their own films. But um, as far as that goes, I think it was pretty good. Um, it's, they say it was like The Departed meets Heat. It's kind of there. I've been to Boston briefly, but it's like that whole grittiness, that old Irish thing that comes with it. You know, it's just so authentic. It didn't really suspense me a whole lot. I kind of figured everything out. Why do you think Hollywood loves Boston so much? Small, easy to get around. Like, you know, you do the aerial shot, you can get it all in one, you know? That's true, that's yeah. nice, yeah. Do you think this movie will be uh, around during awards season? Who do you think has a good shot at winning an award out of this? I don't know about that with Hollywood. I, I don't know. <laughs> do you think it deserves awards? Well, I think he deserves an award, really. And so does Blake, uh, Blake Lively. Lively. Is she she was fabulous. She's got like the girls, she's good to look at too, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, which yeah. one did you like? Blake Lively, the blonde, or the brunette, Rebecca Hall? She was like something out of the Sopranos. The uh, blonde, wasn't uh, she? Yeah, no, right? no, but the one I like is Hall. What's his oh, name? Is oh, this, yeah, this, Rebecca this, Hall. Rebecca Hall. Yeah, she's beautiful. Not... I don't think that would be up for any awards. Oh, really? Uh, okay. No, not, no, I'm not saying that because I don't oh, think it was okay. a bad film. Yeah. Because I think there would be other films that come out of there. Oh, okay. Like, run for their money. The other guy out of the Hurt Locker as well, like, you know? Oh, Jeremy Renner, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just in, like the casting of it, it's fantastic. Do you recommend other people pay to see this movie in theaters or is it a rental? Uh, I, I suggest they go out and see. What would you say to people who are on the fence about seeing this movie in theaters? Is it worth seeing in theaters? Take the stick out of your ass, jump off the fence and go into the <laughs> film. I liked it. Oh, great. So okay. that's the important thing. It is. What do you give the movie on a 1 to 10? One to ten. Uh, I'm gonna have to go seven. Eight. Between an eight and a nine. Sounds like Affleck has made a solid, if not spectacular, caper with audiences giving the town a 7.5. And hey, would you like to see your movie covered here on Beyond the Trailer? Then be sure to enter it in the Big Break Movie Contest from Rogue and AMC Independent. I'm one of the judges and will be picking a movie to be released nationwide in 50 theaters this spring. Go to imrogue.com slash big break for details. I'm Grace Randolph, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.